good morning guys and once again welcome to carry counseling online and uh, today we are going to talk about uh, a situation which i believe every organization of every size faces whether it's a, a, a 10 employee organization or a 10000 employee organization well to begin with the session well guys we are here talking about attrition one of the nightmares of the hr departments i guess sir and uh, even when we talk about uh, redundancy and uh, you know excess of employees and so on see in this time also uh, controlling the attrition is one of the biggest nightmare of any uh, hr department or hr professional see so what is meant by attrition the attrition means like when see uh, an employee leaving an organization an employee rejoining this is a constant process this is a constant process and it cannot be that uh, you know uh, the number of uh, employees leaving the organization uh, when it exceeds the number of employees joining an organization that is when we call about attrition so the attrition is uh, a, a, a phase of an organization wherein its resources are leaving more than you know the resources which are being added okay so why uh, why is it uh, that the attrition is such a nightmare in any organization see the main thing is for any big organizations uh, one instance uh, in reference to this is through the research it has been found through the research it has been found good morning miss good morning miss thank you for joining me again today it's so very motivating it is so very encouraging thank you so much ma'am thank you so much okay so the thing is see why is it that the attrition is such a nightmare to the hr professionals or any organization as such the main thing is see a resource when he or she is working with an organization your employees right your employees who are working when they when they are when they are working sorry about that guys when they're working in a process they immediately uh, you know come across a lot of processes a lot of internal uh, parameters and uh, learning which the training also the learning which the employees are being resourceful now an employee who is working on a process or a, on a department or on a uh, let's say a project when suddenly that pro person leaves the organization what happens is you know the organization finds it very difficult to cover up this transition like what happens majorly is when uh, an employee leaves we have seen it many a times that the hr department starts the interview or starts the you know processing part of the relevant uh, candidates accordingly now what happens is by the time the new resource joins okay so there is a lapse in the project the transition is not overlapping so it should be like when this resource is leaving we already have a backup for the other resources the backup is already ready to take over to the project now the if we have to understand uh, how to control attrition see the first thing is guys we need to understand that you cannot control attrition it has been found in the forbes report that the biggest brands faces the you know largest attrition it is so very difficult for big brands to retain its employees because you know uh, the expectation of the employees constantly changes with the market their demand changes and you know their deliverables also changes it's not always about money only that an employee uh, rem you know changes the organization many a times you know the employee tries to align his potential to the kind of deliverables which are being expected by that organization so in that case also attrition happens so there are it's it's almost goes like a advice to the uh, hr department or the process heads like they are uh, you know drawing uh, experience uh, drawing conclusion from the experience that i have gained over this uh, past 20 years working in the it sector uh, though i am not anymore with the it sector associated uh, you know currently the thing is that that 20 years i have seen that majorly if three aspects were taken care of right then the attrition could have been controlled by the management or the hr professionals much more professionally much more smoothly without hampering or without tampering the operation in hand so the first thing is see uh, majorly we have found that when a organization is working on a project you will find one 
uh, head who uh, on whom the single point of contact we used to call them uh, all the dependency lies like he's the person or she's the person who understands about the project workflow who understands about the software development workflow who understands about the customer interaction who's into the meeting who's into delegation of the work who's into the technical aspect also who's into communicating with the HR also so now what happens is when the dependency is on a single person right I mean be it the project head be it the director or be it the founder also what happens is when this person decides to leave this organization okay the organization or the operation is taken aback they cannot think of somebody else delivering those deliverables as that person used to be right now that creates a mind block that really literally creates a mind block in understanding how to carry on this operation now for big big brands or big IT uh, brands or big giants you know uh, working in the IT aspects or different other aspects see it is very difficult for them to bring in on board somebody new and you know that person becomes productive from day one of joining it's irrespective of the number of years experience that he carries it is very difficult for a new person to jump into a process to understand it to understand the employees to understand the difficulties to understand the uh, you know borders and the parameters and start delivering the way the previous guy was delivering so um, uh, my suggestion would be instead of uh, instead of you know dependency on one head why not why not you know there are three heads like for instance I'll tell you see uh, uh, when I was in HP uh, the, uh, uh, such an incident happened so I can draw a reference to it see there was a position uh, for one uh, president okay uh, for the president of the company and uh, you know HP was looking uh, for the Asia Pacific operation president head right the head of the ops now what uh, you know generally would be done is you would find a very suitable candidate selected and joining and heading the operation instead of that I found that HP uh, recruited three candidates right now they were uh, you know three operation heads who were working on the same project so instead of one president right heading the operation they appointed three vice presidents right three vice presidents now what happened was once they joined in the same project was handed over to them the same kind of internal training the same kind of process training which happens uh, were given to them the same kind of deliverables the same kind of JDs were or job descriptions were defined for them now what happened was what happened was in the long run in the long run in in over two years we found that yes one of the one of the uh, uh, you know vice presidents did leave but the other two vice presidents you know came up as so very productively delivering that they were recruited or reappointed as presidents one was for the Australia operation one was for the India operation now you see the requirement was for one president okay who would be heading the whole Asia Pacific operation but instead of that see the recruitment policy recruited three vice presidents right what did it do is by the time by the time there was a you know requirement for you know presidents for heading the Australia operation because we were working on the APAC uh, operations by the time you know there was a need for a Australia operation to be taken care of to be handed handled by a very capable uh, person see the HR or the management didn't have to go outside and look for somebody you know and bring on board that person train that person and then you know uh, have the operation go on but the thing is what happened was the press uh, you know the vice presidents were already looking into operations uh, uh, you know related to the Australia clients and so on so when this position came up as a president for the Australia operation this guy was just uh, you know reviewed for the performance for the deliverables which were uh, you know delivered by him and he was found through IJPs we used to call internal job posting I mean it was not only a job internal job posting was an option for the employees or uh, you know the uh, team leads or the managers only it was even uh, applicable for the CEO part also right so you know employing uh, the internal employees are bringing them to a status wherein 
you know they are already into the process for such a long term they understand the deliverables they understand the norms they understand how hp works and the kind of uh, you know interactive process that we have now what happened was you know this person could easily fit into the shoes of the president and he took over i mean uh, just with a leave of 7 days he took some leave and then he took over he went uh, to melbourne and he took over so it was the transition was smoothless you know this the 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 thing is it was seamless it was smooth and it was very very confident move so uh, i believe management should always uh, instead of depending on one head they should have uh, this policy of creating many heads for the same position so that even if one head is moving away or is leaving the organization you know you have a backup you have a internal backup who's already aware of who's already trained who's already knowledgeable about the process and that person can take over it's just a matter of internal uh, you know promotion and uh, you know upliftment and once that happens the candidate goes into a position of operation and starts delivering immediately so instead of depending on one head for the whole operation let's break it down let's deliver it or let's delegate it among three heads so that this three can deliver in a cumulative way and the project goes high and if there is a, a chance of attrition or one of the guy or one of the, you know uh, of them leaving you do not have to look for an external source train them and you know uh, kill the time over this transition period so that's that's one uh, way of uh, you know putting uh, control to attrition i believe then uh, 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 you know uh, the organization also has to uh, the second point i would like to suggest is you know create this position without permanency now what does that mean it might sound crazy it might sound like okay if the job is there if it is not permanent or well then what are we going to offer i mean that might create a kind of feeling about non permanency in the minds of the candidate no it's not like that what we are talking about is why not break the project why not break the project into a tenure based right and you delegate a uh, you know uh, one head and he takes care of the operation he delivers he takes the project ahead right and uh, in a span of time like let's say 6 months or one year or two years which might be decided by the management they hand over the project to the people who were reporting to him to the most suitable person now what that will do is it will not only not only create a continuous flow of resource right it will also create a connectivity of the employees of the heads with the project so even 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 the resources reporting to this head knows that i have to deliver so that you know i can take up this responsibility of the project head because we have this policy within the organization that uh, you know 6 months or 1 year or 2 years after the uh, you know uh, this responsibility is in rotation so this project who's who i am i am reporting right now might might you know uh, uh, be uh, reporting to me and i would be the project head then it is nothing like a hierarchical uh, uh, you know demotivating factor but the thing is it is like constantly churning the resource you know the manager uh, understands the process from a different perspective the employees understands the uh, you know the whole operation from a different perspective the stakeholders understand the man, you know the whole process from a different perspective now the thing is if one person is stuck to a position then again we are creating a dependency again the first point as we said that create multiple heads so that you can kill the dependency now that what will do is it will first thing is it will not allow the manager or the head or the director or the founder to be complacent right to be comfortable about what they are already doing and being accepted they also know that i have to deliver i have to you know hand over this uh, whole work or the whole project or the process to the next suitable person and see the only dependent uh, or the only permanent thing in any organization could be its goodwill its customer experience and the legend it creates right apart from that nothing is permanent in terms of organizational uh, structure in terms of human life also right what kind of legacy you leave behind leaves behind you even once the person is gone see i i i am a die hard fan of uh, steve jobs i i uh, come i uh, absolutely get very motivated uh, you know even when i go through uh, his uh, writings his videos his blogs and other things the thing is 
he uh, he is no more with us but we keep on repeating him we keep on drawing uh, you know examples from his life we keep on uh, you know referring to his hardships and we keep on learning now that is a kind of legacy has lived behind he has not lived behind iphone or ipad or a macbook pro or the products what we are talking about is products from apple corporation what what is permanent in apple is the legacy that he has left behind he has been a legendary leader he has left behind a legacy which is now being shared by the employees and they want to be legendary also they want to leave the same kind of legacy behind once they leave apple corporation now that's the kind of you know uh, motivation that's the kind of setup i'm talking about see without permanency you know you constantly know that you have to deliver you have to learn you have to go ahead and the only way only way you can be permanent is by creating your duplicate what does that mean that means if you are a manager today it is your responsibility that you train the team leads reporting to you so that when one day it comes that there is a position which you might be thinking of might be you might be dreaming of of becoming the director of the company so you can only jump on to that director position when you can put front you know in front of the management a suitable candidate to fill in to your shoes to take over your responsibilities and to deliver the same way it is not only about taking you know the responsibilities it is about delivering so the first thing is you have to be 100% in your deliverables second is you have to train the people who are reporting to you third you have to monitor them constantly so that their deliverables not only meets yours but also at time exceeds because then you will be able to create and leave behind legends the way steve jobs has lived behind the employees of apple corporation with the vision in their mind with the dream to be a legend themselves that is the kind of uh, mindset that you have to create so that is the uh, way you know uh, without the permanency uh, you know you can constantly churn in the resources so there can never be a attrition everybody knows every part of the process everybody knows uh, the way of reporting everybody knows the reporting tools everybody knows about the kind of uh, mission or the statement that the organization shares so that is something which constantly keeps the employees motivated constantly keeps the employees connected to the organization also they feel that they have to deliver to stay up to a position and they have to exceed their deliverables to move forward now what that will do is that will give them this concept that yes why do i have to look for a growth outside my organization why do i have to look for a different process because i am stuck into this process so the thing is when they are constantly moving when they are constantly learning and when they are constantly getting involved into new process new dynamics of the business then they hardly consider the aspects of leaving the organization so that is also one way of controlling uh, the Uh, attrition rate now the third and the last point i would like to mention is establish establish the employees faith establish the employees loyalty now faith and loyalty are um, many a times uh, misinterpreted through the kind of pay package that a uh, organization offers the kind of perks that the organization offers the kind of rewards the organization offers but no it's not always the perks the rewards and the recognition but the main thing is training training is the only way you can assure that your employees stays with you see with the training this input gets into the minds of the uh, employees that see they are training me for a different skill set which i already have means they are including me into their growth process it's not that when uh, you know let's say i i know let's say just an hypothetical example uh, honestly speaking uh, drawing reference from my side uh, well as as i as, as i always used to uh, uh, say that i i know uh, java programming myself okay now the thing is maybe i was working on java project all right and i was delivering wonderfully i was uh, you know getting good results i was wonderful i was absolutely great in uh, the way i was handling the java project but now the thing is if i suddenly one fine day find that i am being enrolled for a c++ training what it gives me the feel is so that means that the organization is making me ready for the future projects which might be not in java might be in c and c++ so what that does do is 
it opens the scope of me also let's say tomorrow the organization does not have any more java projects to work on let's say hypothetically right what would that do i can be easily adopted i can be easily absorbed into a project which requires a c c++ programmer now what that will do is it will not lead to termination it will not lead to attrition because many a times i have seen see this in during this pandemic we have found that see uh, programmers who were good in java let's say a uh, hypothetical example and the moment uh, the java project starts uh, you know uh, thinning down the employees are insecure the employees do not know what to do so the employee starts fearing that tomorrow if there is no project for java i might be kicked off so before i get kicked off or terminated or being laid off why not i look for opportunities outside the organization you see that is what i'm talking about the management has to the hr uh, people or the hr policy has to be such a laid that you know uh, employees are constantly trained for cross skills for cross technologies and so that when there is a requirement for uh, a, you know a, a potential within the uh, project they can be pulled up they can be absorbed and that is also one way of making them feel secure now when the employees feel secure they will hardly leave the organization so this is also a wonderful tool to control attrition with this three let us summarize again before we wrap up the first is uh, creating non dependency right uh, uh, non dependency on a single head so how to do that create multiple heads right create multiple heads for the position or for the responsibility so that the dependency is not on a single person right and uh, then uh, i would say that uh, uh, create uh, this job opportunities without permanency everybody in the process everybody in the organization has to know that this is not permanent i have to move ahead i have to deliver more than what is being delivered by me now i have to learn more i have to upgrade my skills and i have to because my position is not permanent right tomorrow i might be required in a different project with a different set of skills so today is the time when i can deliver what is being expected at the same time upgrade my skills and also you know understand the process you know uh, which i am in and also the process going in the organization so that when tomorrow there is a call i can confidently be absorbed by the management or i can approach the management for being absorbed third is establish the uh, confidence establishing confidence is through training so the employees have to be constantly trained on cross skills multiple technologies and process uh many a times i have seen that somebody who's working on the crm ends does not uh, know the process which is happening at the technical end because that gives them also the feeling oh well that's not my job see you, today's world is so dynamic it's moving constantly you cannot you cannot get attached to one responsibility set because tomorrow that job responsibility might not be required by the organization where would you find yourself then so if you are trained if your employees are trained across skills across technologies they can move around the process they can move around the organization they can move around the projects and they can you know cover up the transition phase much smoother so with that note guys let me once again remind you today is friday and uh, for all those who are interested let me tell you today evening 7 pm uh, through zoom virtual uh, meeting room uh, you know uh, 12 members or anybody who's interested uh, can join the live session we are bringing in live guests wherein uh, this is restricted to at least 12 you can visit our facebook page which is career counseling online and you can reserve your seat okay the moment you create you know uh, go to the event tab of yours and uh, you know uh, you know of the career counseling online page click on the event tab once you click on the event tab this event opens up all right and you will have a button called reserve my seat once you click on that reserve my seat your seat is reserved you get all the details of the zoom meeting with a username password and the link all you need to do is evening 7 pm ist okay you just need to uh, log into the virtual room with a username password 
which will be provided to you automatically as an email confirmation. You will get a confirmation. You will also get a confirmation screen uh, once you click on the reserve button. So the thing is, you can join that. And what topic are we going to talk about today? The topic is going to be taking care of your physical health for a better mental health, for a stronger mental health to handle any kind of work trauma or any kind of work challenges with confidence. This pandemic has shown us, you know, how weak or how feeble we feel during any crisis, job layoffs, you know, termination and projects cut and pay cuts. All this is making every professional very remorse, very depressed and very sad. With that, honestly speaking, you cannot go ahead. You cannot deliver your hundred percent. And the time is such that if you're not delivering hundred percent, your deliverables will be questionable. Your position will be questionable. So guys, please join us today. Visit our Facebook page, which is Career Counseling Online, and you know, join that event. Reserve your seat, and we will talk to uh, all of these members. Uh, you know, one by one. You know, all of you can join. Twelve members can be seen on the screen all together, and we have some wonderful uh, guests uh, who are coming up, joining us uh, from different uh, fields of uh, work, and they would be sharing their ideas. You can share your ideas. You can have your questions answered. You can put forward your question and your suggestion. It will be a very interactive session. I can guarantee you that. So, guys, with that note, uh, take care uh, for today. And as I always say, learn, contribute, and evolve. That is the only way to be, right? Take care of you guys. We meet again today, 7 p.m. Take care. Bye-bye.